I testified before the United States Economic and Security Review Commission. This is a congressionally chartered commission that's been running for decades and looking at all aspects of the US-China relationship. The topic of my testimony was China's use of artificial intelligence technology in its defense and military modernization objectives, and what tools exist in the US policy toolbox to help address that challenge. In my testimony, I tried to point out that all AI software somewhere runs on semiconductor hardware. These are the computer chips that power modern AI machine learning models. And it happens to be the case that China's AI sector is heavily dependent upon US and allied semiconductor technology. On October 7th, 2022, the Biden administration adopted a new policy of export controls on advanced semiconductor technology to China with the goal of limiting the progress in China's artificial intelligence field. This policy is a landmark in the history of US-China relations, and the Chinese government is responding accordingly. Export control evasion tactics have been strengthened significantly amongst the Chinese organizations that are looking to leverage advanced AI. And what that means for the United States is that our export control enforcement capacity really needs to be strengthened. Specifically, I recommended that Congress focus on strengthening and increasing the resources available to the Bureau of Industry and Security at the Department of Commerce. This is a pretty small organization within the United States, but it actually is at the center of so many developments in US national security and technology policy. There's a significant opportunity to increase the productivity and the efficacy of the work of the people at the Bureau of Industry and Security by leveraging artificial intelligence and modern data science techniques. Unfortunately, they don't have any money to do this right now. And so I made the recommendation that this funding be made available and that the Bureau of Industry and Security be technologically modernized to carry out its export controls enforcement mission. For more on my testimony and on this critical issue, please visit CSIS.org.